you have any expectation or idea of how long you're going to play for Saturday? Um, this ain't the NFL preseason, so I'm not prepared to be pulled out in the first quarter. Uh, so I don't know. You know, it's all up to the coaches. I'm just a player. You know, um, our objective is to win. You know, if that takes one quarter to four quarters to overtime, you know, who knows? Just prepare to win. Did you give Marcus Gilbert any advice when he first moved over to left tackle? Uh, not really. I just told him the speed is different. You know, from right tackle to left tackle. Uh, those ends are ridiculous on the left side. You know, I mean, it's SEC, you know, as close as you can get to NFL football. But he's a great athlete. You know, the whole left side is going to be veteran with me, Mike, and Marcus. Um, so, you know, I'm not really too worried about it. I guess he proved himself, you know what I mean? So, it's on the ball now. Carl, uh, co uh, Coach was in there a minute ago and said something about uh, a more traditional offense with tailbacks running the ball, you know. Lining up and maybe running downhill. That's does that get you excited in the offensive line a little bit? Oh yes, I love. I mean, I love it. I mean, I I'm from North Carolina. You know, I didn't even know what the spread offense was until I got here. We're an old school double wing team, so this is this is kind of like my traditional stomping grounds. This is how I learned how to play off the line. So it's gonna be fun. You know what I mean? This year, watching Moody and Demps and Rainey and uh, Mac Brown. It's it's gonna be a good year. You guys talk about it among yourselves in the O line about boy they're going to get a chance to run the ball this year a little bit. Oh yeah, that's that's every hog's dream is to play in the mud. <laughs> Along that line, Carl, last year in short yardage, everyone in the building knew 15 was going to go somewhere. What opportunities are created now with the transition and the fact that in short yardage you can go inside or out with different running backs? Does that create some opportunities for you guys? Um. I say it it, tr it it creates tremendous, you know what I mean, um, opportunities to score in the red zone. A lot of teams blessed us real heavy when we got inside the 20 because, I mean, it wasn't a great mystery. It wasn't like it was uh, some ancient scribe on the wall. Everybody knew Tebow was going to run it or it had something to do with it. But now, I mean, you don't know. We have Brantley. We have Demps. We have um, Carl Moore. We have um, a healthy DeBose. I mean, we have weapons. So, I mean, you have to pretty much pick your poison. Do you want us to throw it in on you? You know, jump fade it in on you. Do you want us to run it in on you, or do you just want to lay down and take it? But you're going to get it, so <laughs> don't really matter. Anything else? Carl, when do you get to appreciate the work that you've done on the field to create a hole? I mean, like in the middle of play, you're locked in on, on some guy you're know, trying to block. Do you notice when Dems flies past here that you have to wait until you see it on the, on the big screen after you fell the next day? Um, I say a, a collective of all, of all things. I don't really think you can see Demp from past you. You just see a blur and colors, you know what I mean? But I think you're so in focus in games. You kind of see what's happening, but it doesn't really soak in until maybe after. But um, it's, it's good. I mean, it's fun. I love it. I mean, to see Demp's break on the long run, that means less time on the field for me. <laughs> so I love it. You know, I, I block extra hard for those kind of plays. Two more questions? That was very interesting, by the way. Nicely done.